Kicking off season seven of High School Quiz Show, we have Thayer Academy. Taking on Advanced Math and Science Academy. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Wow. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, as many as 130 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of the coveted 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion and take home this fabulous trophy. Now, today's matchup has Advanced Math and Science Academy from Marlboro taking on Thayer Academy from Braintree. And on the Advanced Math and Science team, we have Shashank, Abhinav, Ani, and Tim with alternates on the sideline, Abhiram and Rohan. And coach Jessica Bowen. Nice round of applause. <laughs> They're back. And for Thayer Academy, we have Dan, Liam, Matt, and Brianna. And the alternates are Jeffrey and Sam, and coach Jamison Smith. Nice round of applause. <laughs> Thayer Academy. <laughs> and by the way, Advanced Math and Science, the defending champion here on High School Quiz Show, and I believe first time for Thera Academy. Now, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and, of course, the lightning round. And we'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, let's go. In May 2015, who joined the Twitter age with an account called at POTUS? Yes, Sashank. The President of the United States, Barack Obama. That is correct. Uh, once common across the United States, what iconic black and orange butterfly population has declined by more than 90% over the past few decades? Yes, Brianna. Monarch. Yes, the monarch butterfly. In perhaps the most highly anticipated literary follow-up of all time, uh, what sequel to Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird became an instant bestseller in July of 2015? Yes, Brianna. Go set a watchman. That is correct. Russian, Polish, and Czech are all examples of what major Indo-European language group? Yes, Liam. Slavic. Slavic is correct. Uh, take a look at your screens. You will see a picture. You're looking at a 1942 picture of the Tetons and Snake River in Wyoming. It was taken by what celebrated photographer known for his images of the American landscape. Yes, Abhinav. Ansel Adams. That is correct. Upon his return to Spain after his third voyage to the New World, what explorer was jailed for six weeks for gross mismanagement of governance? Yes, Abhinav. Columbus. Christopher Columbus is correct. In 1742, what Swedish astronomer developed a temperature scale that set the freezing point of water at zero degrees and the boiling point at 100 degrees? Yes, Matt. Celsius. Yes, Anders Celsius. Uh, with a thrilling 5-2 victory over defending champion Japan. Uh, what country won the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup? Yes, Matt. Uh, the United States. USA is correct. What two characters are released from a box and wreak havoc in the cat in the hat? Ani. Thing one and thing two. That is correct. Take a look at your screens. The next question is going to be on the screen, and here it comes. 
Hello, I'm Dr. Vivek Murthy, Surgeon General of the United States. Here's my question. In 2015, what highly contagious virus that can be prevented with a vaccine spread from Disneyland in California to at least 20 other states? Yes, Ani. Measles. Measles is correct. Do you think we fool around on this show? The Surgeon General, for heaven's sakes, on High School Quiz Show. Uh, the Lomami and Ubangi rivers are major tributaries of which African river? Yes, Abina. The Congo River. Correct. Uh, the terms matador and picador are associated with what sport popular in Spain and Portugal? Bull yes. fighting. Yes. Uh, in 1589, Henry of Navarre ascended to the French throne as Henry IV. He was the first monarch of what royal house that was in power until the French Revolution? Yes, I mean, uh, the Bourbon. That is correct. DNA is replicated during which of the following phases of the cell cycle? Is it A, anaphase, B, interphase, or C, prophase? Ani. B, interphase. Interphase is correct. Here comes a math question. What is the supplement of a 70 degree angle? Yes, I'll be not. 110 degrees. That is correct. In a national referendum in July of 2015, what EU country overwhelmingly rejected the bailout terms and additional austerity measures proposed by its European creditors? Uh, Shashank. Greece. Greece is correct. Uh, a group of boys whose memories have been erased find themselves trapped in a labyrinth in what 2009 science fiction thriller by James Dashner? Yes, Matt. Maze Runner. The Maze Runner, correct. Who served two stints as Prime Minister of Pakistan in the 1990s and was the first democratically elected female leader of a Muslim country? Yes, I've been up. Benazir Bhutto. Correct. Uh, what comedy legend and star of the original Ghostbusters movie was David Letterman's first late night interview guest in 1982 and his last in 2015? Ani. Bill Murray. Correct. The International UFO Museum and Research Center is located in what New Mexico City? Yes, I'll be not. Roswell. Correct. Which of the following is a synonym for penury? Is it A, prediction, B, indolence, or C, poverty? Yes, Shashank. C. Correct. Poverty, C. Which American president whose face now appears on the dime founded what would become the March of Dimes? Yes, Liam. FDR? Yes, that Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, what German social philosopher collaborated with Karl Marx to write the Communist Manifesto? Yes, Shashank. Engels? Yes, Friedrich Engels. In 2015, famed drug lord Joaquin Guzman escaped from a maximum security prison in Mexico, his second jailbreak in 15 years. He's best known by what nickname that means shorty in Spanish? Yes, Ani. El Chapo. El Chapo. Math question. What is the area of a trapezoid with bases of six and four and a height of three? Ani. Fifteen. Correct. In the 1935 film, The Little Colonel was the first to show an interracial couple dancing together on screen. Shirley Temple performs the iconic staircase dance with what famous tap dancer? Yes, Brianna. Bojangles. Yes, Bill Bojangles Robinson. Hilary Mantel's historical novel, Wolf Hall, is about Thomas Cromwell's rapid rise to power in the turbulent court of what British monarch? Yes, Tim. Henry VIII. Yes. In 2013, scientists at CERN confirmed the discovery of what long-sought subatomic particle that helped solve the riddle of how the Big Bang created something out of nothing? Yes, Dan. Higgs boson. Yes. Uh, I believe God isn't done with America yet. What Republican senator from Texas said this as the first major GOP candidate to launch a 2016 presidential campaign? Yes, a chunk. Cruz. Ted Cruz is right. The Isthmus of Panama extends from the border of Costa Rica to the border of what South American country? Uh, Shashank. Colombia. Yes. The development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. What preeminent British physicist said this in an interview with the BBC in 2014? Yes, Matt. Stephen Hawking. Yes. Through bombings, assassinations, and abductions, uh, the militant Islamist group Boko Haram has terrorized what country the most populous in Africa? 
Yes, Ani. Nigeria? Yes. Uh, the Gemini... Oh, wow. Uh, that's the end of round one. The score right now, advanced math and science, 210 points. Thayer Academy, 110 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, a message from a very special guest. Congratulations to all the teams competing this season on High School Quiz Show. As Commissioner of Education, I take great pride in representing the interests of hardworking, high-achieving students like you across the Commonwealth. Good luck in this year's competition. Okay, let's take a few minutes to get to know the players. I have a question. I will ask it, and each of you will answer it in your own way. And here it comes. If you could make a sequel to any book, movie, or TV show, what would you choose and why? And Shashank, I'll start with you. Well, Billy, uh, it's been about a month since the last Alvin and Chipmunks movie came out, and we think it's high time that we get a new one. So we were thinking Alvin and Chipmunks, The Adventures of the Starship Enterprise. We'll now, see our int intrepid uh, chipmunks go through the dangers of space and see how they'll survive. Boy, you've got the whole storyline put together <laughs> and everything. That's amazing. Uh, Abhinav, how about you? Yeah, so going along the same line, I'd like to see uh, Chip Romney, uh, the ch chipmunks running for president. Okay, all right, and... Uh, I have a feeling we've got a theme going here. Uh, Ani, you. Uh, well, now that you mention it, um, <laughs> I'd like to see uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Bill Belichip, um, our <laughs> defending Chipper Bowl champions, um, defend their uh, title after being falsely accused of deflating their acorns. Wow. <laughs> Um, I can't wait to see how all this ends. Tim, it's up to you. Well, it's, Bring it home, Tim. It's hard to follow up on that great answer, but um, I'm thinking more Alvin and the Chipmunks straight out of Chipton, oh. <laughs> entering a new genre of music. <laughs> all right, we'll see if it happens. I, I don't know. Over to uh, Thayer Academy, and first of all, welcome to High School Quiz Show, guys. I know this Thank is you. your first appearance on the show. Uh, Dan, same question for you. I'd like to see Macbeth, too. You know, I, I think they could explore the theme of ghosts we got a taste with in the first one. Sure. It's good. <laughs> Take it a little bit further, then. And, uh, Liam? I would say The Old Man and the Sea. I thought it was a great book, but I finished reading it feeling like I wanted to know more. All right. Matt? Uh, I would say Pacific Rim, because we need more movies about giant robots fighting giant monsters. Of course we do. And Brianna? I'll go with Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. I loved it, and I just don't think there's enough Jane Austen out there. So we'll look for the sequel. We'll make it happen. You and me, Brianna. We'll make it happen. Um, here's the way head-to-head -head works. Some of you already know this. One person from each team will be chosen to come forward. So advanced math and science, who's it going to be? Shashank, Thayer Academy, who's it going to be? Matt. Shashank, Matt, come on down. Let's go head-to-head. Okay, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I've got Matt from Thayer Academy to my left, Shashank from Advanced Math and Science to my right. Why don't you guys shake hands? How about a little chest bump or something? No, just kidding. You don't have to go there. Uh, a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10. And by the way, you can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. So let's go head-to-head. -head. What is the chemical symbol for sodium? Yes. N-A. Yes. What is the most widely spoken language in Brazil? Yes. Portuguese. Correct. Name the first state in the nation to legalize. Same? Uh, Massachusetts. Yes. Same-sex marriage. Uh, what son of Venus is the Roman god of love and desire? Yes. Cupid. Of course. On March 28, 1854, during the Crimean War, Britain and France declared war on what country? Russia. Yes. Uh, Rosa Parks triggered the Montgomery bus boycott on December 1st of what year? 1955? Yes. In the late 19th century, what a post-impressionist painted the starry night? Yes. Van Gogh. Yes. Uh, what actor plays a crime figure, Whitey Bulger, in the movie Black Man? Johnny Depp. Yes. Ooh. Uh, most humans have how many pairs of ribs? Yes. Twelve. Yes. Who was the prime minister of Great Britain at the start of World War II in 1939? Yes. Chamberlain. Yes. Approximately one-fifth of all fresh water entering the world's oceans comes from what river? Uh, Amazon. Yes. Uh, what Shakespeare character is referred to as the Moor of Venice? Uh. Othello. Uh, what scientist was the first woman to be awarded a Nobel Prize? Yes. Mary Curie. Yes. What Jewish holiday is also known as the Miracle of the Maccabees? Yes. Uh, shoot, I don't know. Uh. Hanukkah. What American novelist wrote The World According to Garp? Uh. 
John Irving. Corsica is an island in what sea? Yes, Mediterranean. Yeah, oh, did he get that in? Yes, he did. Uh, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round, round two on High School Quiz Show. Taking a look at the score, advanced math and science, 290 points. Thayer Academy right now, 150 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Good job, guys. All right, next up is the category round with the following categories. We have Avenue Q, One for the Gipper, Modern Classics, What About Bob, Don't Mess with Pluto, and Stick the Landing. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer, and we're going to need your answer. Now, Thayer Academy, you've got some ground to make up. Not much, but you've got some ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Modern classics. Modern classics. These are questions about 21st century novels. And for 10 points, in The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, what tribute from District 12 becomes Katniss's love interest and main ally? Yes, yeah, Shashank. PETA. PETA is correct. You've got control of the game category. Stick the landing. Stick the landing. Uh, these are questions about women's artistic gymnastics. And for 10 points, women's artistic gymnastics includes four events, uneven bars, balance beam, floor exercise, and what else? Yes, I'll be now. Vault. The vault is correct. Category, you've got control. Oh, uh, we'll switch to what about Bob? What about Bob? These are questions about people named Bob. Uh, for 10 points, in 2014, the lyric notes to Like a Rolling Stone were sold at auction for a record $2 million. Name the songwriter. Uh, Tim. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is correct. Category, advanced science. We'll stick with it. We'll stick with What About Bob, this time for 15 points. What U.S. Senator and World War II veteran ran against Bill Clinton in 1996 as the GOP presidential nominee? Tim. Bob Dole. Bob Dole is correct. You've still got the board. Advance, Matt? We'll stick with it. Stick with Bob for 20 points. Along with Carl Bernstein, who earned a Pulitzer Prize for the Washington Post in 1973 for his investigative work reporting on the Watergate scandal. I'll be now. Woodward. Bob Woodward is correct. You've still got control. We'll switch to Avenue Q. Avenue Q. Actually, this category was suggested by one of our viewers. So... All answers will start with the letter Q. And for 10 points, what large muscle group includes the four major muscles on the front of the thigh? Yes, I'll be now. Quadriceps? Yes. We'll you, stick with it. You're going to stick with Q for 15 points. What Massachusetts reservoir is one of the largest man-made public water supplies in the United States? Uh, Shoshank. The Quabbin Reservoir. Quabbin Reservoir is correct. Stick with it. Stick with it for 20 points. Also known as the Society of Friends, what religious group that arose in England in the 1650s was harshly persecuted by Puritans in colonial Massachusetts? Yes, Tim. Quakers. Quakers is correct. You've still got control. Advanced map. We'll stick with it. Avenue Q for 25 points. What protein-packed food is known as the miracle grain of the Andes? Abhinav. Quinoa. Quinoa is correct. You've still got it. We'll switch to Don't Mess with Pluto. Don't Mess with Pluto. Questions about Pluto. For 10 points, in the summer of 2015, what NASA spacecraft took the first high-resolution images of Pluto? Yes, Ani. New Horizons? Yes. Uh, category? We'll stick with it. Okay, for 15 points, which of Pluto's moons is so large that uh, some scientists consider it a double planet system rather than a planet plus a moon. Ani. Chiron. That is correct. Uh, category? We'll keep going. We'll stick with Pluto this time for 20 points. New Horizons was launched in 2006 as the first mission to study Pluto and what disc-shaped region of icy bodies that lies beyond the orbit of Neptune. Yes, Ani. The Kuiper Belt? That is correct. You've still got control, advanced math. We'll keep going. We'll hang with Pluto for 25 points. Dear Pluto, looking good, but you're still a dwarf planet. Get over it. What famous astrophysicist who led the campaign for Pluto's demotion to dwarf status tweeted this in July 2015? Yes, Tim. Neil deGrasse Tyson. 
That is correct. Uh, we'll finish it off. Finish off Pluto this time for 30 points. Uh, the New Horizons spacecraft carried some of the ashes of what American astronomer who discovered Pluto in 1930? It's Clyde Tumbaugh. Uh, you've still got control of the board, though. You'll need a category, Advanced Math and Science. Oh, uh, we'll switch to Modern Classics. Modern Classics um, for 15 points. What adventure novel by Jan Martel is about a teenage boy who survives 227 days stranded in a lifeboat in the Pacific Ocean with a Bengal tiger? You asked him. Life of Pi. That is correct. We'll stick with it. Stick with Modern Classics for 20 points. Uh, guilt and forgiveness are major themes in what Ian McEwan novel about an upper-class English girl named Bryony who tells a lie that ruins her sister's life. Abhinav. Atonement. That is correct. You've got the board, Advanced Math. We'll stick with modern classics. This time for 25 points in her novel, Oryx and Crake. What Canadian author writes about a character named Snowman known as Jimmy before mankind was overwhelmed by a plague. Uh, Shashank. Atwood. Margaret Atwood is correct. You've still got the board. Uh, finish it off. Finish it off for 30 points. Uh, which Jeffrey Eugenides novel begins with a character named Cal explaining that she was born twice, first as a baby girl in 1960 and then later as a teenage boy in 1974? Yes, Tim. Middlesex. Middlesex is the answer. You've still got the board category. Oh, we'll switch to one for the Gipper. One for the Gipper. Questions about Ronald Reagan and for 10 points. And a memorable speech in Florida in 1983. What country did Reagan denounce as an evil empire and the focus of evil in the modern world? Yes, yeah, Shashank. Soviet Union. That is correct. Category? Uh, one for the Gipper. This time for 15 points in 1983. Reagan announced his trillion-dollar Star Wars program to develop a sophisticated anti-ballistic missile system. Its official name was the SDI, which stands for what? Yes, Shashank. Strategic Defensive Initiative. No, Thayer Academy, you want to try it? Yes, Matt. A strategic Defense Initiative. That is correct. And now Thayer Academy, you've got the board category. We'll continue. One for the Gipper for 20 points. Despite initial protests by Republicans that she was not conservative enough, in 1981, Reagan appointed what Arizona judge as the first woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court? Yes, Ani. O'Connor. Sandra Day O'Connor is right. Category? Oh, all right then. Uh, there's the bell ending the category, Ryan. We take a look at the score right now. Advanced Math and Science Academy, total score of 575 points. Thayer Academy, total score 165 points. Let's make some noise for both these guys. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20. The clock is set. Here comes the lightning round. How many cups are in one U.S. gallon? Yes, Matt. Uh, 128. No, 16. Uh, after Manchu emperors took control in the mid-1600s, what country enjoyed prosperity for nearly two centuries? Yes, Matt. China. Correct. In the 2015 film Everest, actor Michael Kelly plays what real-life journalist and author of Into the Air? Yes, Tim. John Krakauer. Yes. Uh, the White Nile and what other branch are the two? Yes. Blue Nile. That is correct. What was the first name of Lewis of the Explorer team, Lewis and Clark? Yes, I mean, uh, Meriwether. Correct. Uh, the all-time mountains extend approximately 1,200 miles through what continent? Yes, I mean, uh, Asia. Yes. What is the chemical symbol for gold? Yes, I mean, uh, AU. Yes. What Australian singer received multiple Grammy nominations for her hit song, Chandelier? Yes, I mean, no. Sia. Sia. Yeah, Sia. Um, what 1953 title is the first of Ian Fleming's 12 James Bond movies? Yes. Dr. No? No, Casino Royale is the answer there. In 2015, who became the first person representing the United Kingdom to twice win the Tour de France? 
Chris Froome is the answer there. Both Alaska and Hawaii were admitted to the Union in what year? Yes. 1959. Yes. And uh, that is the end of the lightning round and the end of the game. And the winner this round, Advanced Math and Science Academy, with a total score of 695 points. And let's also hear it for the runner-up this week, Thayer Academy, total score of 165 points. Let's hear it for both teams. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. of WGBH.